what is up guys this is Troy from sweet reps today we got a ready to paint hood we're gonna do this hood satin black just to cover it to keep it from fading or dotting just like this in this photo if you leave it uncovered or untreated you will get this over time uh, to prevent this you could either paint it or wrap it but let's get to it also guys I'm gonna give you some tips through this video just so if you want to do this at home for yourself or if you want to do this at home for your friend you can get that done quickly and cleanly. Uh, as you can see here, you're going to want to put magnets on the opposite side of what you're stretching so you could get that stretch in this curved section of the vehicle, in the curved section of that hood. As you can see here, this is what you call glassing out, which is you're going to want to get that material as flat as you can before you even squeegee it. And here you can see that the material already wants to lay flat without me even heating it. So that's how you know you got it right. If you have a little bit too much excess on the bottom end, on the front end of the vehicle, you're going to want to pick it up and stretch it to the side as much as you can so you can get that to lay flat. If you're using a cast vinyl, you're going to want to do that stretch, that more stretch. If you're using a calendar vinyl, you can shrink it down depending on how much excess you have on it going to want to squeegee from the middle outwards with this vinyl this is cheetah wrap for some reason it likes keeping air in the back of it um, as you can see here you're going to want to squeegee from the middle down from the middle up so in case you get a air bubble trap like this you could pick up the vinyl and work it out um, as far as that goes just try to get as little to any air out of that vinyl as possible if you do squeegee it hard, you might run into that bubble and crease it. So try to do it with firm, little to firm pressure. Um, right here, you want to start in the beginning of the hood, that front edge of the hood. And from there, you could pretty much glass it out for the rest of it. Um, for hoods that have indentions and uh, head scoops like this, you don't want to do this. You want to work into those places. But for these flat hoods, you just want to glass it out and then you could squeegee the rest. Also guys, another good tip is to keep your squeegee wet. This will help you keep track on where you squeegee. Uh, you do want to overlap it about 20% to 50% over of what you're already squeegee. So you know you got that down right. Um, as I said, you want to work it little by little. This material actually keeps a lot of air behind it. The more you wait, the more air gets trapped behind it, but don't worry the air egress or the air channels behind it actually do disperse that air really well so all you want to do is work from one way to the other those air bubbles will get out So what I'm doing here guys is I'm relaxing the vinyl. This means that you're going to keep the vinyl until it stops moving and then you're okay to cut. Uh, if you cut before then, especially if you're working with the calendar vinyl, um, if you cut too short, it will peel back. You're going to have to redo the whole piece because it's too small for the whole hood. And um, what you're going to want to do is cut about maybe a quarter inch, uh, a couple millimeters of vinyl extra so you could uh, 
to roll over that edge and wrap underneath the hood so we can actually anchor it down to not stretch back from there. So what you want to do here guys when you cut is you're going to want to cut on the opposing body panel. So if you're working on the hood, you're going to want to cut on the fender side so it can give you a good gap to tuck underneath the hood. Um, this gives you also a uniform cut so you won't have any janky cuts and look professional when you finish up this job. Um, I'm leaving a bit for that corner as you can see so we can work on it later. So when it comes to cutting guys, blades do make a difference, knives that you're using do make a difference. I'm using the NT cutter blade from Amazon here as you can see. Uh, this blade is made out of plastic so if you lay the edge of it it actually does give you like a quarter inch cut from edge to where the blade is actually is in cutting so all you need to do is lay it on the edge cut and you'll get a good uniform cut all the way down and here guys I'm using a little dimple tool to make a pocket for that corner so once you shrink it that that little dimple will anchor it down to that corner so you won't have any stretch back and it will actually hug around that corner for you. I'll link this tool down in the description. You could get it from several places such as Amazon, Yellow Tools, and much other places. Um, on Yellow Tools, it's a little expensive. On Amazon, you could get them uh, dimple tools, which are similar, not exactly the same thing, but it, they work exactly the same way. Um, I'll link that in the description. So here I'm just recording it a little closer for you guys. You're going to want to pull at least half inch or maybe a quarter inch over that uh, corner. Stretch it over it and create the dimple exactly where that corner is. So when you shrink everything back, the sides will pull itself taut and it'll wrap around that corner for you. After you got everything shrink down and not moving anymore, you're going to want to cut right underneath that corner so it could look seamless. Uh, you'll follow the lines of the fender and the top of the hood so it could be uniform to the rest of the cut. And from there you'll just work the rest like any other edge of this vehicle. So here guys, you're going to want to start on the corner first and then work your way down. Uh, you're going to want to do two swipes, one from the, from the top to uh, round it over that hood and then one on the bottom which seals it. Uh, after that, you're pretty much just heat it. If anything lifts, you push it back down. Um, if it doesn't lift, you're sealed and good to go. There we go guys, everything covered and we're ready to go.